Hello internet people and welcome to Vlogtober day one where I am sewing for an hour a day and bringing you along for the journey. So welcome, welcome to my sewing room. It's October 1st, it's the official first day of Vlogtober. Uh, I think I said in my fall plans video that that was the first day of Vlogtober, but that was like the first video of Vlogtober and this is like actually day one. So anyways, Vlogtober day one, uh, I'm in my sewing room. It's an absolute disaster, like literal train wreck, chaos, craziness, not like you can't sew anything legit in this room right now. Like it's just crazy. So anyways, it's become a dumping ground. Pretty much anytime I clean up anywhere else in the house, I just kind of like shove it in here if it's like my stuff I just like shove it in here and shut the door and then my husband doesn't see and the rest of the house looks clean but then this room does not so anyways the plan for today is to clean up the sewing room get it all organized and ready for the first project of October um I've got Harrah's up loose t-shirt sweats on like we're going full comfy today that's the only way I know how to be productive I'm going at four for happy hour margaritas with my friends and it is currently 117 so we better get started because you know how it is time does not exist in the sewing room um so yeah let's get this place cleaned up I think that still counts towards the hour a day I mean I think that preparing for sewing is also part of like the daily can be part of like the daily sewing ritual so all right, let's get started. If your sewing room's a mess too, then maybe you want to join me in the fun and let's get started. So let me just give you a little idea of what we're working with here. It's like embarrassingly messy. Yeah, it's embarrassingly messy. But anyways, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this right now. Before we get started, I think I'm going to put this fabric on for its pre-wash. Um, the first project of October is going to be the Barrow Studio Romy Top out of this festive fall pumpkin fabric. And I think I talked about it in my fall plans if you watch that. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll multitask a little bit and get this fabric all ready to be cut out while we're cleaning. took me well it's 314 now so that took me like two hours to do one hour worth of work I did set my timer for one hour so I basically got an hour's worth of interruptions um, by my phone I talked to my mother my sister my mother again um, because my dad's in the hospital and so I had to call and check on her and she's like a hot mess and then I, my sister called me to see if I had talked to my dad and I tried to call my dad, blah, 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 blah. So I was like dealing with that. My family communication situation sucks. I wish we could just get on a group chat. We could all update each other whenever we talk to him or get an update. But anyways, apparently 
that's not something my family can do. So anyways, I just spent an hour cleaning this place up. It took almost exactly about an hour, so that's not bad. I think I could probably use a vacuum, but whatever. We'll save that for another time because it's 3.15 and now I have to go get ready so that I can go have margaritas. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the first day of Vlogtober and I will see you guys tomorrow for day two people and welcome to vlogtober day two where i'm sewing for an hour a day and bringing you along for the journey so my sewing room is all nice and clean from yesterday and it's time to start the first project of october i'm going to be sewing the bara studio romi top um, out of this uh, pumpkin fabric right here. It's from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. Yesterday i pre-washed it dried it and i laid it out here so it doesn't get any wrinkles on it um, and so yeah, today the plan is to choose my size and I wanna do that well because, is that how you say it? I want to choose my size well. I wanna choose, I wanna be sure that I get the right size or as close to the right size as possible because I'm gonna be cutting straight into this fabric and it's not the cheapest fabric, um, but it's a knit so it's a little bit forgiving. So we're gonna do that. Um, then I have a PDF plotting order right here um, and the patterns in there so I need to cut the pattern out and then cut the fabric out and that's probably more than we're going to get to today so that's the plan and let's get started we have one hour on the clock okay so picking the size all right so it's a uh, PDF pattern so I have the instructions up here on my computer um, everything is in centimeters because it's a German pattern. Um, I only work in inches. Well, I don't only work in inches, but in my head I only understand inches, so I have to use Google to convert everything from centimeters to inches. Anyways, and then I, um, I have my most recent measurements here. I was playing around with my body model back in December, and I know that's like, uh, I don't know, nine, ten months ago, but I think the measurements are pretty pretty much the same so um, I'm gonna use those but I might actually remeasure a few things I'll go off camera because it's not that kind of channel so um, yeah so we're gonna do that so first things first um, it's a knit pattern so it's gonna have negative ease so I want to figure out what that negative ease is first um, by subtracting the uh, size chart sizes from the finished garment size sizes or measurements so I'm going to do some calculations on that now I've gone through and I've changed centimeters to inches just so I can make sense of it better um, I'm kind of debating between a large and an extra large. So on the size chart, a large is um, for the bus 39 to 42. The extra large is 42 and a half to 46. My bus is like somewhere around 44. So that points to an extra large. But then if you look uh, at the finished garment measurements, the large is 38.5 for the bust and 41.7 for the extra large. So it's like a two inches of negative ease so I guess if you divide that by all your quadrants that's like a half an inch per quadrant so that's not too bad um, I just I don't want too much stretch or stretching I don't want too much negative ease because um, since this pattern is printed on the fabric it turns white as you stretch it more so I think testing that like a half an inch yeah I think a half an inch will be okay. I don't think we want much more stretching than that. So that's like an extra large, puts me at an extra large. Now the question is, is do I want to measure the shoulders and make sure that they are wide enough? That is like my top problem, top half problem area. No, we're not gonna say problem area. It's my top half area of most changes that need to be made. So actually let's cut out the pattern and then we may take a look at the shoulders of the large and extra large. I mean I'm not going to make a large at this point. 
So I'm going to make the extra large. So we're doing a check on the extra large shoulders and then maybe... I don't think I want to get into altering them, so let's just... We'll just look at them. We'll just... We'll investigate calmly, carefully, and then we'll go from there. Difficulties. I'll be back. So we're just going to take a small detour um, to deal with this chaos um, and roll up, separate and roll up all of the patterns. I wanted to put them back in the box, but yeah, it has other plans for me. So we'll be right back. So the timer just went off. It's been an hour. We picked a size, went through the size charts. I pulled out all my PDF plotting order and separated the patterns and I cut out the pattern. So not a whole lot done today. This is not the place if you're interested in seeing someone make like 10 projects a month. This is a very slow paced situation over here. Uh, I hear a lawnmower outside, so I think that's my cue to say goodbye and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello internet people and welcome to Vlogtober day 10. It's October 10th and it's been a minute. Um, oh my gosh, I had to just take a step back from Vlogtober. I made a quick post on my like community tab just saying like that I needed to focus on other things right now. Um, my dad has been in the hospital for 18 days now and that just, it took it out of me. You know, I'm long distance. My mother may or may not be getting dementia. I've been trying to call and check in on her, you know, make sure all four of my siblings are, you know, in the know what's going on, trying to figure out what's going on. Anyways, I just couldn't. Um, but thank you to everyone who did leave me a comment on that post. I didn't reply to any of them, but I really, really appreciate them. I read them all. Thank you so much for understanding that, you know, sometimes life just gets in the way. And I had such grand plans for Vlogtober. I had made everything, like I had made a calendar of what I was going to do and I had everything planned out. And I really, really, really wanted this time to come into the sewing room for an hour and use it as a way to ground myself. And so you'd think that this would be the perfect time to ground yourself when everything else is in chaos. But I actually found that wasn't the case. I made one video, the fall plans video, and then I filmed two sewing days and yeah, I just stopped. So anyways, let's get to the sewing. So, all right, we left off with um, cutting out and getting ready to cut the fabric out of the Bar Studio Romy top. I'm making a Halloween inspired, oops, a Halloween inspired top out of this fabric here, these cute pumpkins, um, something festive for the month to wear. And it's a knit. So I want to spend some time making sure that it's going to fit before I cut out this expensive fabric. Um, now with wovens, I think I've mentioned this, I just, you know, make a quick muslin out of an old bed sheet, see if it's going to fit, etc. With knits, it's not quite the same thing. I don't have anything else to really, I don't really have any like cheap fabric or whatever to make a sample um, with. So here's what I want to do. And I'm not going to rush this process. So I just, I just want to take my time to see if this is going to be like a, a way to tell if knits are going to fit. I'm going to use this book, um, Fitting and Pattern Alteration, a multi-method approach. Um, and if you haven't seen this book before. I got it when I was um, trying to fit the Gilbert top and I've heard about it for many years and it's a little expensive. It's like I think about a hundred dollars and so I've been I've always just I've wanted it for many years but I just kind of put it off and was like whatever I don't need it. It's too expensive but I finally um, I finally bit the bullet and I bought it and um, 
it's so far it's really good okay so basically there are multiple different um ways that they show you how to fit different issues um i'll just show you like an example it gives you like these diagrams um like this is for wide shoulders and so there's a body measurement pattern measurement um and then three different like there's a pivot and slide and seam method there's different methods on how to adjust the pattern for different fit issues so um that probably wasn't a very good explanation, but you can check out the book if you want, if you want to look into, if you want to see if it's the right thing for you. So anyways, with this pattern, I want to try using the body measurement and the pattern measurement comparisons um, to see if it's going to fit. And that entails taking a bunch of different measurements of the body and comparing it to the flat pattern pieces, and then similarly measuring the flat pattern pieces and comparing it to the body measurements, I think. So what I wanna do today to get back into it is I wanna take the measurements for a few of my most common issues. Um, my shoulders are such an issue that I wanna see about like the forward shoulder, the wide broad, wide broad shoulder, um, round back, make sure the arm length is good. The book has um, all these different measurements you can take and then they correspond to like a specific adjustment and like it tells you like, oh, this measurement will be, you know, match and be okay. And then like this measurement will be off. And so then, you know, you need to adjust it um, when you compare the body measurements to the pattern measurements. Anyways, um, I've never done this before. I was using some of the other alterations just when I was doing the Gilbert top. Um, I haven't actually successfully done this whole like measure and compare to the pattern measurements thing. I've never had the patience for it. So, so I'm going to try to take all the measurements myself. I don't have anyone to help me um, using their method. I have tank top on, leggings, you're supposed to wear like a necklace, so you can find this point here. I think you have to draw on yourself a little bit. Basically, I'm gonna be a little mannequin today, and I even slicked my hair back for it. I was actually trying the Sophia Ritchie method of like this low bun slicked back look, but you know, I'm not sure if it's a slay for me because she has a much lower hairline and um, I do not. My hairline is so far back. I feel I'm feeling very like potato-like. Um, but anyways, this is not about the hair. This is not about what I look like. Um, I'm mannequin today to find the measurements and see if this top will fit me. And then I can cut out the fabric and we can move on with this because otherwise it's going to be November and I'm not going to be able to wear this. I mean, I could, but you know, we, we want to wear it in October. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so I've gone through and I marked on myself um, the different points that the book says to. I didn't do quite all of them, especially in the back because it's really hard to do that yourself. Um, but yeah, I have some purple marks, elastic um, all over shoulders, arms, etc. So now I'm gonna go through and try to actually take some real measurements. Okay, so I did the measurements for the forward shoulder and then the additional ones you would need for the round upper back adjustments. So now let's see if we can do some comparisons. Okay, actually, so we did the body measurements. Now we take measurements of the pattern and then we compare. So let's do that. So we're at an hour and I'm lost in a bunch of chicken scratch measurements. So I actually think I need to like sit on this and like kind of think about it and let it process like what we're actually doing, like the measurements of the pattern compared to the body measurements and how that relates to the different adjustments. So I'm just going to like let it process in the back of my head. 
um, and then like come back and try to like make a little bit more sense of it. So far between the comparisons, I've found that I probably need an adjustment for my shoulders, either round upper back or forward shoulder, but those are the only two I've looked at. So we're gonna leave it here and I'll be back tomorrow for another hour of sewing and I hope you'll join me and I'll see you then.